Hey guys, I wanted to just say a big huge thank you to my patrons. I'm so excited. I want to bring you a little video giving you a behind the scenes tour of my little Monet Cafe studio. So let's go into the studio. Come on. All right, so here I am in my studio and I'm just going to do a little walkthrough. A special thank you to my husband Todd behind the camera. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Hi, so uh, come on in and I'm going to show you around. Um, first, I want to just give you kind of a, a view of it's just a small 10 by 13 room and uh, I have really made it work for um, my purposes. I've got a lot in a small space, so I thought I'd just give you a couple of things that I think work well for a home art studio. I'm sharing my awesome desk here that I love, but I thought I'd do this voiceover because I realized it's discontinued, but if you could find any sort of a craft table that has drawers, that would be my awesome. paper cutter over here. This is where I film all of, or I edit all of the Monet Cafe videos on my Mac computer. Many of you know I just had to get another Mac computer. But I love all the drawers in this, but storage is the key and practical storage is the key. So I'm just gonna point out some of the things that I love. I love the little Ikea shelves. Um, I can put things up and away, out of the way. Um, I also love, if you film over here, these little Ikea um, magnetic boards are amazing for just keeping temporary art that you haven't got um, stored yet in bags or anything. Uh, I'll move this way now. Oh, this is actually back here, honey. This is where I do my other side of my brain, my bookkeeping business. And if I'm feeling creative, I don't even want to look at it. So these little, this is a Walmart tablecloth, by the way, with little hooks. So anyway, um, over here is where I keep a lot of my um, paintings in there. Once I have them um, put in their little bag, I do have a video on how to do this. Um, I love to keep them in the little baskets kind of according to size. Again, it's all about storage and uh, this is a piece of furniture that was in our house before it flooded and uh, it has worked great. I love open basket systems where I can see everything. If they're in drawers or with cabinet doors, you can't see what you need and I like to keep everything very practical. I also love, this is just like my little working studio set of pastels. And as you see, I don't have the huge studio set that many people have. I've made it work with less. Um, so, not that I don't want more, but I love having a little light by my pastels because you know, light is everything with color. And so it really helps me to kind of see the actual colors. Um, my standing easel, I love to have things accessible. So I have my most used things, I'm left-handed, so it's nice to have my pastels over here. But my most used things, my pencils, my charcoals, my, um, all, of course, my pastels, my inks, my everything that I use most is over here. Again, nice little storage systems. I have all my brushes back behind here. I always keep my ruler handy. Um, and on my easel, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory, but I love to have a lot of little clips and things real accessible. I keep my little pipe foam insulation. Of course, you gotta keep your little entertainment down in the floor here of your little pets that really keep you uh, inspired. <laughs> um, and then, I'm not gonna make this part very long. Then I have, um, I love this little thing from Ikea. I keep all of my papers in here. Um, I do have bigger papers that I don't have here. More storage. Labels do help on your storage, so you know what everything is. Pan pastel, scissors, tools, watercolor tubes, pastel pencils. Um, also, I'll grab this and bring it out here. These things are awesome. I know a bunch of you guys probably have this already. I love these little rolling storage things because when I need to do something like for an underpainting, I've got my Neo Color Wax pastels, my Ink Tense blocks. Um, all kinds of things um, that I would use for an underpainting. So it's real nice to just pull this over. I got this at Walmart, but I think they have some at Michael's now that actually is better than this one. They have a lot of little uh, hanging things where you can hang scissors and I think maybe even paper towels on them. So I love that. And um, anyway, so that was a fast and furious tour through the studio. I like my sitting easel too, and I, I thought I would share. I love this little thing from Ikea. Um, you can use it to store or put paintings on, but I love that I can hang it over my easel and put my, if it's a reference photo, if it's uh, my iPad on it, that all works really great. Um, this is where I film. This is where it all happens. I usually set my camera way back here, and um, I am, I would say I'm the 
I'm the videographer, I'm the filmer, the videographer, the talent, and the editor. So it's crazy. So thank you, honey, for doing the filming right. So that was a quick and crazy dog-filled moment studio tour. <laughs> but right here is where I, I started sharing this week's challenge. But I'm going to do that in a separate video. And I want to try to do a weekly challenge to my patron um, members. And uh, I don't know if I can do it every week, but stay tuned because I will be sharing what this week's painting challenge is. Man, I love you guys. Thank you patrons for just being you and supporting me. Happy painting.